thank you very much uh, for agreeing to this interview. It's a great honor to be able to interview you. So how do you feel about winning the food battle? Very unexpected for me. It came as a surprise. Um, it's a very inter the, the whole thing is a very interesting experience. So tell us a bit about your work. You're interested in number theory, but you approach it from a perspective that seems uh, not directly related to the numbers themselves. Well, in fact, you know, I've, I've heard people describe my work as broad, but I don't think it's true. I really do number theory. But number theory interfaces with a lot of things. So I, I feel at home in number theory. I feel I know what is hard and what is not and what is interesting and, and what is not there. And, and, and one of the nice things about number theory is you can have something very abstract, very abstract mathematical tool, for example, coming from algebraic geometry, which has an extremely explicit manifestation. You can program it, you can compute it on a computer. And, and that, that, that's kind of fantastic, actually. So number theory is, gives you a window through which you can make concrete many other fields of mathematics, which in their native home are often phrased much more abstractly. Right, so can you give an example of that, the kind of abstract objects that somehow become explicit? The example that comes right, right away to mind is, is, is algebraic geometry. I, this is something I haven't worked on professionally, but just for fun, you know, when you c compute things, you can compute with elliptic curves, and uh, there are a lot of very subtle general theorems in algebraic geometry, which are examples are elliptic curves over the rational numbers, and we really compute with those, and it's really fun to compute with them. Like, it's one thing for a theorem to be uh, true, but it's another thing when you compute it and, and you see that it's valid, and somehow that, that gives you just as much satisfaction as proving it. During uh, the video presentation about your work, the role of uh, billiards was mentioned. Yeah. Can you say a few words about that? Well, I, I think billiards was just was a sort of simplification. Uh, there are certain types of dynamics that are particularly important in number theory. One example is the continued fraction algorithm, which allows you, if you give a, a, a number, to make a rational, which is very near it. But the continued fraction algorithm, it's kind of a reflection of a slightly more richly structured dynamical system, which is the geodesic flow on the modular surface. You know, like a lot of number theory, you can it's sort of hard to give a philosophical answer of why that's related, but it, uh, it is. It's fascinating. Uh, so what lies ahead for you? I have a few leads on interesting directions that have come up in the last year. I spent a lot of time trying to think about what, what's a good direction to go in. And so to some extent, I'm, I'm at a phase of finding new directions rather than pushing on ones that I have already. But do you have any ultimate goals in mind or just want to just keep exploring? In some sense? I'm, I'm happy just exploring. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. It was a great pleasure. ICM TV is brought to you from the 2018 International Congress of Mathematicians in Brazil. So for more like this, click on some of these great videos and don't forget to subscribe for more from the best in science, from everything from mathematics to physics, geophysics and engineering.